guys, this is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. <clears throat> so in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to control the model appearance of your model by changing the render style as well as the background and the lighting of your model. Alright? So you can use the tools on the render style panel. So this is what I'm talking about. You can find it on your viewpoint tab to control how your model is displayed in the scene view. So note that <clears throat> the render and lighting modes are not available in a 2D workspace because as you know, in Abyssworks, you can also open 2D views, okay? So you will not be able to use the render style there and the lighting modes when you are in the 2D workspace. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to open here the exercise file, the sample exercise file that I've been using, the RAC Advanced Sample Project.nwc. I'm going to go ahead and open this. All right. Okay, so this is now my model. So let me just go ahead and select the tool here to orbit my model, okay? So the current render style or the current uh, render mode that I'm using right now is what we call the full render. So as you can see from here, it's full render, okay? So in the full render mode, the model is rendered with smooth shading including any materials that have been applied with the Autodesk rendering tool or have been brought through from the native CAD file. Let's say, for example, your Revit. Okay? So, Autodesk Navisworks does not convert all native CAD files textures. Okay? Just take note of that. But in full render mode, just like what I have said, the model is rendered with smooth shading, including any materials that have been applied. Let's say, for example, in Revit. Okay? But usually, I do not uh, use this render style. Why? Because... Sometimes it my, if my project is uh, quite a big project, it hampers the performance or it slows down the performance of my Navis work. So usually I just select full render if I want to do some presentation or to take some snapshots to show to the client. But most of the time as I work, the render mode that I am using here is the shaded render mode. So it displays geometry using shaded surfaces and without textures, okay? So uh, you can easily navigate your model compared to full render mode in, when you are using the shaded view. Although your model looks a little bit cartoony, but for me, this one is fine, especially when I'm working or when I'm doing my coordination with my uh, Navisworks model. Okay, so this is the second one. Okay, so the third option is what we call the wireframe. Okay, so the wireframe. So I'm going to select this and then select the wireframe. So in the wireframe mode, the model is rendered in wireframe. Just like in Revit, you have visual styles there, right? Wireframe is also there. So the model is rendered in wireframe. So as Autodesk Navis works, uses... Uh, triangles to represent surfaces and solids. So you will notice a lot of triangulations here. So all triangle edges are visible in this mode. Okay. So again, it is much more easier to navigate compared to <clears throat> full render mode. But then again, I seldom use this one. Okay. I seldom use it. Now the fourth one is hidden line. Okay. So this is the last one, we call it the hidden line. So the model is rendered in wireframe, but only the outline and facet edges of surfaces that are visible to the camera are displayed. Okay, so unlike the wireframe mode where surfaces are rendered transparent, hidden line mode renders surfaces opaque. Okay, so that's how it works. So for this four render mode, so most of the time I use your shaded view or the hidden line view, just like in Revit. I also use there the hidden as well as the shaded view. Okay, so these are your four render mode that you can choose from. Okay, 
And let's say, for example, you want to change the background of your model. So if you want to change the background of your model, so all you have to do is to right-click at the blank space. So from there, you'll be able to see the background. Okay? So you actually have uh, four backgrounds here. Okay? If you click the drop-down, oh, actually, it's three. Sorry. So it's three background. So it's plain, graduated, and horizon. Horizon. Okay, so if it is on plane mode, just like this one, our plane view, currently we are at the plane view. Okay, the background of the scene is filled with uh, your selected color. Okay, so this is the default background style of uh, Navisworks. So it can be used for 3D models or 2D sheets. Okay, so the, that's the first one. So the plane mode. Now the... Last, uh, the second one is graduated, okay? The background of the scene is filled with a smooth gradient between the two selected colors. So you can select two colors here. So let's say I'm going to select uh, blue, okay? The other one, I'm going to select uh, aqua. So it's you'll be able to see also the preview here. So this background, same with your plain background, can be used for... 3D models and 2D sheets. So let us go ahead and select this one. So I'll just select here, okay. So this is how it looks like, okay? The graduated uh, background. So it's kind of gradient color, okay? Now the third option to change your background is horizon, okay? So the background of the 3D scene is split across the horizontal plane, giving the effect of the sky and the ground. Okay, so let's say I'll just use this uh, color. So I just select here, okay. So this is how it looks like. So this is the ground. So if I try to orbit, you can see there your sky and then the ground. Okay, the background of the 3D scene is split across the horizontal plane so that it will give you an effect of a sky and the ground. So the resulting artificial horizon gives you an indication of your orientation in the 3D world. So by default, the artificial horizon respects the world up vector as set in the orientation. Okay. So take note that this kind of background, our uh, horizon background is not supported for 2D sheets or in orthographic mode. Okay. It's only on perspective view and in 3D mode. Okay. All right. So there you go. So that's your uh, three types of background. The first one is horizon, uh, plane, graduated, and horizon. All right. And then don't forget to change your uh, render style here, changing the render mode to full render, shaded, wireframe, or hidden line. Okay? So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright? So once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day. Bye-bye!